there is a long-standing suspicion of the quote-unquote mainstream media in this militant history of conservative evangelicalism. And, and you can trace, you know, different sources, but, you know, you can go back to kind of Rush Dooney and presuppositionalism, basically the idea that there is one truth and it's God's truth. And anybody who is outside of this community with access to God's truth is not to be trusted, very much as kind of us versus them mentality, which creates a lot of suspicion and many cases within evangelical churches where Christian pastors would really try to incite fear in the hearts of their followers. So Jerry Falwell Sr. in his church, Mark Driscoll is the perfect example of this in Mars Hill, but in independent fundamental Baptist movements and the homeschool culture, really across the evangelical world, you see instances of this where we hold the truth and the pastor is the authority, the arbiter of that truth, and you need to fear anybody outside of this circle. Do not trust them because your salvation is at stake. The the church is at stake, right? So much is at stake. And this gets into very conspiratorial thinking. There's one source of truth and, you know, it is I, or, you know, uh, uh, whichever, however you want to define that and do not trust anybody on the outside. So we need to have our own news sources. We need to have our own radio stations. We need to have our own of everything. And this really gets into the evangelical subculture and I'm a cultural historian. So I spend a lot of time looking at evangelical culture and, and how this communicates these messages. And evangelicals have such a, a kind of robust culture because, you know, Christian music, Christian film, things like that, because they don't trust the secular sources. This is kind of the foundation, I think, for a lot of conspiracy theories, a lot of this conspiratorial thinking that we're seeing today. It's a very small step to where we are now. So you... you 